G'day everyone, welcome back to the channel. You can see I'm down at Dream World today behind me there. Just come down to do a bit of a park update, see what's going on in there, and we'll go and check out the construction progress going on in Rivertown as well. So before we head in, if you don't mind, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, that'd be great. And just leave a comment, it'd be awesome to hear from you. But anyway, let's head in inside and check things out. Just as you just as you come through the entrance there, they've got a fade opportunity of the woodcutter and the forest sitting there. Also, don't forget, they've got um, Dreamworld Country Fair coming up from the 21st of September going through to the 6th of October. So you can see they've started putting up some of the decorations for that. So we have the Carmen Cottage here and just to the right of that, they're going to have Scarecrow Lane. So it's always good to see the um, what the scarecrows look like and what the kids and the schools get up to when they're creating them as well. So. And here at Sky Voyager, they have um, Discover America Sky Voyager back which screens from park open till 2 p.m. and then the regular screening is from 2 p.m. till park close. So I got me coffee from the old Green Bean Cafe, come up to the um, veranda for the ice cream parlour and checking out Jungle Rush from here so you can see if we can zoom in you'll be able to see a sign right on the, just behind the crane there. So and they've got um, another image just you can see just over to the left or to the right of that as well and see the track there but we'll definitely go down for a closer look shortly you can see over behind the tree as well a bit more outside panelling has gone up there for the theming as well I do like how they got these topiaries around the park so they've got the tiger here from near the um, outside the coffee shop here and I know they have butterflies just down near the ice cream parlour as well and I have seen that they have a few others around the park so so coming down here to motor coaster you can see the buildings now change from the the ghastly yellow and green to a brown and tan color so it's looking maybe what it's um the theming is going to be like for in the future maybe a bit of a direction so that'll be good to see and maybe they might even um change the trains hopefully that'd be pretty cool if they change the trains maybe to fit better with the theme maybe um maybe horses or something like that who knows but yeah we'll have a look have a have to wait and see but anyway, let's have a quick look over here at Jungle Rush and Rivertown construction. So here's one of the, um, one of the other new toperies that they've got around the park. So you've got the train and a couple of carriages there. I think they look alright. It's something different in the park, something new to look at. Take some photos of it as well, so I actually think I like them anyway. Let me know if you like them. And I guess this one's a steel taipan, so it's good to see it in the park. It's down near the dry and drop entry, so I reckon it would have looked better up in the, um, the footprint of where steel taipan actually is. Just have it up there somewhere. So here we are at motor coaster from the other side so you can see the tracks obviously still yellow and still got the motorbikes on there but once they start re-theming or they started re-theming the, the entrance to the ride so it's now a brown and a tan color so it'd be good to see them re-theme the actual ride vehicles and the track as well so hopefully maybe they might change their ride vehicles it'd be um great to see also just down near motor coaster the um old vintage vintage car topery is now down here down here at the back of the park they've got a um, big topery koala it's massive now dingo is just having a rest under the sheltered area one there and there's another one right over near the bathtub over there I should do the um, dingo meet and greet experience one day. And when you come down to the corroboree area, that's where it's as far as you can go. So that's where it's closed off now while they're doing more construction on Rivertown through there. So that used to go up to up to where the restaurant is there, the oh, Jane's restaurant, and then you could walk behind that and go up to Tiger Island. So now it's all completely closed off so maybe they're ramping up more construction in there but yeah that's as far as you can go so we're 
actually, you know, where are we? Going around here somewhere. That's as far as we can go about, yeah, about there somewhere. So we're going to turn around and go back now. So a massive amount of work done on the uh, Murrisipi motors there. You can see the track in all along the front there. There's probably going to be some water features in there and there. And then that obviously looks like the load station down there. So the track will go down that way. Looks like it goes under the coaster down there first, down the tunnel, and then comes back up around over there. Comes back through that tunnel there by the looks of it. And then maybe along the front there, back around here. Hmm, around that way maybe and then back, I don't know. But yeah, definitely looking awesome. At least you can see part of the layout now anyway. And then if you look down there, towards Jungle Rush, just behind the crane, you can see the words Jungle Rush there, where it'll be, and then more work done over this side as well. It's good to see the Tigers dressed up for the Greenwood Country Fair coming up from the 21st of September to the 6th of October. So don't forget to check it out because they're going to have petting zoo, live music, country shows, smokehouse foods, and um, yeah, some other shows throughout the day. So come and check it out if you're here. Greenwood is making changes to Tiger Island, so it's going to be less interactive with the Tigers in the future. So it's so the way a lot of parks are heading now, but they've started making some changes in there. You've got new ramps just in the middle there for the tigers to get up and down. And there was a massive tree here. Had a bit of damage from the storms last year, the other year. So obviously it's been taken out, replanted with a new tree there. And they're making changes to the back of house tiger enclosures as well at the same time. So you may not see the tigers here when you're at the park, but yeah, just always come and check them out and see if they are here. And the tiger enclosure and down here at the end of Tiger Island is now finished. Looks heaps bigger than what it used to be. Let's have a look through here. See if we can see. You can see how far it goes back there now. And then the pond's still there. And I don't know if this was here before, but just like a ledge up there. And the tigers sit up there. So that's pretty cool. See one up there. I think there's two in there at the moment, but yeah, it's looking good. Good to see it finished. From Tiger Island, you can see more work being done, more theming up at the side there. They've actually got a lot more um, of the green cladding on since I was last here, so it won't be long before the entire building will be fully enclosed. You can see the um, maintenance shed there, it's got the green cladding on it as well didn't even notice it there with the green blending in with the trees and then you got um, yeah, more theming where the entrance to the station is for the track after the brake run and down here at Tiger Island you can see they've blocked the path off there you used to be able to get down there and you could get behind the Jungle Rush coaster there to come out down by Jane's restaurant and then get through to the rest of the park but now it's closed off while they're getting ready to relay the train track which will come behind the building and along there behind that wall there and then all the way up that way back to Central Park Station so it's going to be good to be able to get back on that and then yeah you can see the cladding's going up pretty quick be um, all enclosed in no time I reckon so it looks like the main building on the corner there has finished its painting job there looking really good and it's actually good to see the fries are plenty in the good food wagon here with the smoker in the middle um, they used to have what the show bag building was here so I think it actually looks better it's good to have something there instead of them sitting over over near the ocean parade sign the good food wagon was and the smoker was there and then the fries one was I can't remember where that was now it was down the far end there but then it got moved but yeah looks good here and just to look from the front of the building the tiger photo up there is done see Pete's sketches there at the front Looks like they've got some hay there and some other stuff ready for um, the country fair coming up on the 21st. I we'll have the two buildings there in the middle to be repainted yet, so the orange one and the yellow one. And then they did that blue one there, that was the purple one. And it did have a veranda, a handrail up, up the top there. So that's been taken off as well and now they've painted it blue and white. 
looking good. Alrighty, that'll do it for today's updated dream world. Um, good to catch up on the construction progress going on there in Rivertown. Murray City Motors is really coming along. You can see where the track's going to be going now for the majority of the circuit. Um, it's good to see they've got two tunnels in there as well. That's pretty awesome. Um, yeah, and it's good to see the buildings. They've only got two left to be painted on Main Street now. So it's um, all coming along. It's all happening here. So yeah, anyway, if you like the video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment. Let me know what you think about the updates that are happening here at Dreamworld. And thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time. See ya.